I'm Diamond and welcome to my channel Diamond Star. Today I'm going to be telling you everything I know that I did to get a sale into Spelman College. But before I get into the video, please make sure that you like if you found the video helpful. Also comment down below if you want to be a part of Spelman 22, already a part of Spelman 21, or if you are a student currently at Spelman, there's anything that I miss. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe so you can be a part of Diamond Family and so you don't miss another one of our videos. I have way more videos coming up on everything college college tips and advice on applications, also full tuition scholarships, financial aid, everything you need to know about applying to colleges. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss one of those very, very important and helpful videos. When applying to Spelman, you have three application periods that you can apply to. You can apply to early decision, early notification, or regular decision. Early decision is a binding contract with Spelman saying that if you get in, you are going to Spelman, there is no other option. But this has the highest acceptance rate and I believe these are people that look at first for scholarships. Next is the early notification. I fly through early notification. This gives you the chance to get an early decision so you don't have to be waiting around to February to find out if you get in or not. But it also gives you the opportunity to weigh your options. Now you don't get your decisions early as early decision applicants do, but you do get it a little bit earlier than regular decision. Regular decision is when students have the most time to turn in their applications, but the acceptance rate is lower during regular decision than it is in early decision and early notification. If you do like I did and you apply through the Common App, you might find that the Common App is pretty simple. You only have to answer a few questions which will be spelled out for you when you go to access the Common App. But the only thing they really require is five recommendations. Three of those recommendations are teacher recommendations, I had the optional choice to have one other recommendation and I had that for my community organization I'm part of, my advisor filled that out. And lastly, there's a counselor recommendation that needs to be filled out. That's who's seeing your transcript and your school report and everything that the school needs to know about your school and your academics and grades. When I was applying to Spelman, which was less than a year ago, they did not require a, a separate essay. The only thing they required was the personal statement. The personal statement is something that you're going to send to every last one of the colleges that you are applying through through the comment app. So if you would like more information about the personal statement, do's, don't tips, advice, everything that you need to know, just click the link at the top of this video or down in the description box. And if it's not there, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you do not miss when that video comes out because that is a very important part of your application. Now I just want to get into some of my personal stats on the things that I put on my application and had on my resume while I was applying to Spelman. I just want to tell you some of the clubs or organizations that I was a part of. Also my type of grades and test scores that I had so you just know about what Spelman may be looking for. So I went to an early college high school where you get both your diploma and your associate's degree. I graduated my diploma and two associate's degree with 67 credits towards my bachelor's degree that I had under my belt already upon graduation. For my class rank, I was number one out of 39. My school was pretty small, but I did have a pretty high GPA. I had three GPAs all together. I had a high school unweighted GPA, a high school weighted GPA, and a college GPA. My high school unweighted GPA was on a four-point scale and it was a 3.91. I did make straight A's throughout high school. I'm not sure why it didn't add up to a 4.0, but in the end, I had a 3.91. Then I had my weighted GPA for high school. On a five-point scale, I had a 4.75. And my college GPA on a four-point scale was a 4.0. For SAT and ACT standardized testing, from what I remember at the reception that I went to when I was applying to Spelman, their average test score, the score they look for is anything above a 24 and beyond. Really, if you want to snag a scholarship, I say shoot for a 30 because they really look at people who score 29 and above for scholarships. So just aim for a perfect score so you can make sure you hit around that 30, 29, 31 mark so you'll be good, have nothing to worry about. Some of my extracurriculars include summer camps and summer programs. I have been attending summer camps since before my ninth grade year. And I did summer camps all the way up to the summer before I started applying to college. So I was able to put all of that on my resume. I did have two jobs. I worked at McDonald's and I worked at Chick-fil-A. They did overlap at one point, but for the most part, they was pretty much separate. Some of the other clubs and organizations that I was a part of was Drama Club. I did Pelt Man. I played the trombone. I did Color Guard, where I was the co-captain. I was in SGA, Student Government Association, for both my high school 
in my college, I served as class representative, vice president, treasurer over my time in the high school SGA. Then my time in my community college at SGA, I served as senator and I served as the liaison for my high school. Also, I served on the state board for SGAs over the community colleges, which was 58 community colleges and 800,000 students. And I served as treasurer and chair of the finance committee. I also did things such as Phi Theta Kappa and National Honor Society. And I did youth council. I served as president. I'm just so excited I was able to have all those extracurriculars under my belt. And I feel like that really played a big part in my application. I feel like leadership, if you have any sort of leadership show, any type of leadership, you should definitely highlight that in your application because I feel like that is exactly what the admissions officers are looking for. I feel like that goes way farther than having great grades or a great test score. In addition to my grades and test score and extracurricular activity, one of the main things I did, I showed interest in the school. I made sure I did my research. I found out what their majors were, what programs they offer, to see what my fit would be in the school, what I wanted to go there for, what I wanted to major in, things that I would be interested in. Also, I researched Atlanta. I found out things to do in Atlanta, what it's like to live in Atlanta, student life on campus, since I was going to be living there for the next four years. As well as I signed up for the email, so I know if they're doing anything for prospective students in my area. As I was saying earlier about the reception that I have went a part of, that came from an email. I was able to speak with admissions counselors, actual Spelman admissions counselor, and I was able to ask questions to clear any confusion that I may have about the application product process or any requirements or my eligibility if things that they look for in the application they just gave me the time to actually ask someone who works on the inside and also they gave me the opportunity to get my region recruiter or my the person the admissions officer over my state contact information and I was able to contact her directly if I had any questions or anything and that just gave me peace of mind especially when application decisions started rolling in because I was able to say okay I did everything that I needed to do I stayed in contact with my admissions officer for my state or for my region and I knew she was on the inside working for me to get accepted because she wanted me to be accepted as badly as I wanted to be accepted so going to the reception signing up for emails things like that is very 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 helpful so you will know that you've done everything that you possibly know to do to get accepted into Spelman College. Well, this is everything I know that I did to get accepted into Spelman College. Please make sure that you like the video if you found it helpful. Also, don't forget to share it with a friend who also may be thinking about applying to Spelman College. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the Diamond family so you don't miss another video. More great content coming up, especially for college application tips and advice, high SAT, ACT scores, also full tuition scholarship and much much more and you don't want to miss a single video so please make sure that you subscribe for now i'm donna star and i'll see you in the next one